here, I'm Jill Wellington, and I'm going to show you how to lighten and darken specific areas of your pictures using a wonderful action created by Rita over at Coffee Shop Blog. I absolutely love this, and you can also use it in Elements. If you want this action, you can get it for free. I will leave the link below to the Coffee Shop Blog so you can go and pick that up. I know you'll use this a lot. This is the first stop on my workflow. I actually did another tutorial showing you how to do this in Lightroom, but if you don't have Lightroom and you have Photoshop or Elements, you can use Rita's Action. So what we do is, this is a picture that I took of my daughter and it's very typical out of camera. It, it is very contrasty. There are dark areas. There are light areas. Her face is a little dark. Um, I actually did not use a reflector as I usually do because I wanted to do this tutorial. So this is a picture that we're going to be able to fix specific areas and get the lighting right throughout your picture. Now, first of all, we're going to run the coffee shop adjust the light action and I'm going to click on that and you'll get this message and this is from Rita and it actually gives you some instruction here so go ahead and read this and when you're done just click continue and you can see the action is playing out right here in your layers palette and now you have four wonderful brushes to work with to change your lighting in your picture we're going to first start out with this add light and whenever you're working with these brushes you want to make sure that you click on the mask and that's the black square so if it doesn't seem to be working it's because you probably don't have this mask clicked so we've, we've clicked on that and we want to use because we have a black mask we're going to want to use a white brush so go over here and you can toggle back and forth here and you want the white on top now go up and click on your brush tool, click on it, go up here and make sure you have a soft edge brush. And I always start out with the opacity at 100%. This opacity right up here, this is the opacity of the brush. So I, I want it to be at 100% so I can see it right away. I'm going to enlarge my brush using my right bracket key. If you need to make yours smaller, use your left bracket key and that's on your computer keyboard. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint in here. See how it lightens it up right away? It's not lightening anything else up, just where I'm painting. And I can lighten up this dark, shadowy area. But let's say that's a little too bright. Well, now we can go ahead and adjust the opacity over here. And the opacity slider over here adjusts it for this layer that we're working on. It doesn't affect the brush in any way. So we're going to click on this on the slider. And we can go down if we thought we did it too, too much. We can go up. I like this because you can adjust it to perfection. And if you work in one little area at once, you can really get this to be perfected. So that looks good. Now we're, we're going to go ahead and click on the darken brush and we make sure that you're clicked on to this black mask. And actually this doesn't have any really blown out areas. Maybe right here is a little blown out. So let's go in here at 100% and we'll just paint on that. Obviously you can see that's way too dark, but we can just go up to our opacity slider and adjust it to our liking. So let's look at it before, really blown out. We just adjusted a little bit and that really made a difference there. Now one of the, the um, brushes that I just love that Rita included was what she calls the magic light. And let's click on that and I'm going to make sure I click on the mask. And this was especially for faces. And what it does is it lightens the lights but it doesn't lighten the darks. So it'll keep the facial features intact. So I'm gonna make my brush about the size of her face and I'm now I'm clicking on it with the magic light and look how lovely, look how lovely that lightened it. But she has beautiful brown eyes and those were kept dark and that looks really good. Let's look at before and after, before, after. It just lightened her beautiful skin tone and left her beautiful dark eyes intact. Let, let's try this with the light brush to show you the difference. Let's click on the light brush and on the mask. Now let's lighten it and you can see how it really lightened up the eyes there. See the difference on that? Let's turn that off and turn this on. 
So really, it's up to you, but I really love her magic light. That is a wonderful feature on there. I'm going to actually erase what I did with that. Now, another thing you can do is she has a define brush. And let's click on that and click on the mask. And what that does is it sharpens the features. So I'm just going to want to do this on the face. So let's start with this eye. Look at how that sharpened it. Go over, sharpen this eye. You can sharpen the mouth around the nose. And then you can go over to this opacity slider and take it down to whatever you want. But I'm going to show you the before and after. That's the lovely after. Look at before. Look at the clarity difference. That divine brush is just fabulous. And I always do that. I always use this kind of a clarity brush when I am trying to um, do the eyes and the nose. It really just brings your face a lot more in focus. So there you have it. That, that looks actually good. We've gone into individual areas, lightened and darkened where needed. And this will really help to perfect your photography. So go ahead and have a great time, and we thank Rita for this great action.